next step of assembling a coaching staff. And uh, of course, he's now going to set his sights on that while retaining a recruiting class and trying to add to it that most is most of which is going to be signed here in the next week. I keep thinking it's two weeks away. It's actually one it's week next away Wednesday, yeah. from Wednesday. So it's only eight days away from the early signing date. Understand that there is still opportunity for uh, the February traditional signing date. But what has happened is that's been flipped on its head. And uh, this early signing date has become a 85 to 90% um, signing it is, date. you know, it's the new signing day. It's, it's yeah. not early or late. It is the new one. You know, it's the only one that technically exists anymore, <laughs> you know, based on how on, of course, the February one is, but you got to win that first one. And he's done an amazing job with being able to uh, start already building those relationships. And, and Mark, you keep using the term respect. This guy took a very, a very long time, of course, to make things official. But think about the way some of these other coaches handled leaving schools and speaking about their previous institution that they worked for. And think about what Mario was saying when he spoke about the previous school. And he wanted to make sure he trusted and respected everyone's process. He wanted to see these players through. Of course, he couldn't coach the bowl game, but I, I feel like if he could, he, you know, if, if it was – if it made sense to do it that way, he would have done it that way. But he wanted to make sure he got to meet the entire team and let them know. Yes, these rumors are true. I'm going to take the gig. You know, look them in the eyes, having uh, personal meetings with all of them before having the big team meeting where he sat and he talked about to each player who showed up and let them know how much they meant to him and how he just has to go home. You know, mom's sick. Mom's calling. I'm going home to Miami and I want to look you in the eye and tell you that. You know, that's 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 a man who's built on great principles. And he, he showed that and uh, it's showed the relationship that he's had with these players coming into recruiting where now he's leaving a school and he's not saying, hey, I don't, I don't want to st- take from you all. I recruited you here to Oregon. These position coaches love you. You know, you stay at Oregon. Now, if you hit the portal and you come on your own, that's fine. But I'm not recruiting you to Miami. I want you to do things the right way and finish through here at Oregon. Okay. And then you also look at the fact that a lot of these players in high school right now, it was just like that. Mark, like, like, like that, a complete Miami shot to the top of a lot of players, big time players, both this class and next class to be taken serious now because Mario Cristobal uh, put pen to paper and is coming here. And we're about to get into some of the people that he's, and I think he's going to bring with him and that he's going to have a good relationship with, but um, it, it's going to be, it's going to be a great one. It's going to be a great one. Got a uh, super chat coming in here from Alex. Alex, we appreciate you being here. What's up y'all. Mario had me ready to run through a wall. I will not say that a wall also wholesome uh, T2 kind of, cryptically tweeted out that he wants to get here ASAP. Mm-hmm. Uh, T2 is Terrence Lewis. I think you probably know that by now, Mark, but I'm just clear. I do. Everybody. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I yeah. should have explained that. Yep. Yeah, he's the inside linebacker recruit that had all of these off-the-field issues. This is the kind of coach that you would love to have a player who's presumed to have some disciplinary issues be able to come in and learn from those kind of things. And to, and to have a real support system around him to where you don't throw a local recruit to the wayside and he has to go to Maryland to be accepted and to be brought into their program. He could stay home. We have a support system. We have sports psychology. We have It's not just about going out there and hitting people in the mouth and making tackles. You know, he talked about getting diplomas, which means degrees. Okay, he talked about being able to help them mentally. He spoke about mental health and the stress and pressure of being a hometown hero, playing for your local hometown school and not living up to expectation, what that can do to a young man's psyche. And we have to support them through that and continue to help them develop mentally, physically, spiritually with respect to multiple religions. But he wants to help them grow. That kind of stuff is important. <laughs> that stuff is important. You've got to be able to have that. And I'm not just saying for Terrence Lewis. I'm not just saying for anyone else 
who has the presumed thought of having these off the field issues and they can't get things done psychologically. Okay, you have to have a program to where when these young men, their families trust you to, to allow them in, that you will give them the same nurture and encouragement and growth that they would expect from a father, that they would expect from an uncle to help them take that next step and not just patting them on the back and celebrating any little thing that they do, but making sure that they see things through to the finish line all the way through. Yeah, you want to leave early? Okay, we're going to put you in a three-year program. I promised your mother you're going to get a degree. You're going to fucking do it. You're going to do it. We're not allowing you to think that it's okay to leave early or think it's okay to not be academically eligible for you to like just get C's and courses. None of that is allowed here in this program. And I'm not kicking you out. I'm going to let you stay in. I know you may not be there right now, but I'm willing to put everything I have, me and my staff, to get you there. And that stuff is important. And that's why I've always supported Mario Cristobal, not to step on anyone else, not to step on Lane Kiffin, not to step on Tom Herman, not to step on Urban Meyer, all these other people that people are talking about. When you think about what Miami needs, Mario Cristobal has that, the it factor on and off the football field for our young men.